Hello, I'm Nurul Athar, PMP, CPHIMS and Artar Certified and welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we are going to explore masks for healthcare professionals like nurses or doctors. First, we'll see ratios. Question number one, the small intestine is about 20 feet in length. If the ratio of the small intestine to large intestine is 4 to 1, how long is the large intestine? We have a small to large ratio that is 4 to 1 meaning to every 4 feet of small intestine we have 1 foot of large intestine so for 4 feet small intestine we have 1 foot long intestine ok same for it we will have 2 feet for 12 we will have 3 feet and for 16 we have 4 feet and for 20 we will have 5 feet large intestine answer so that for 20 feet of small intestine we must have 5 feet of large intestine question number 2 solution X is made from the contents of bottles E and B in the ratio of 3 to 2 we have already measured out 600 ml of A how many ml of B are required to make up X answer 3 to 3 to 2 means that for every 3 parts of A we need 2 parts of B. We have 600 ml of A. If you divide 600 ml into 3 parts, this is the same as 3 parts of 200 ml each. Okay. 600 ml we have divided into um, 3 parts, each part 200 ml. To make up the solution we need 2 part of B so we need 2 multiplied by 200 ml that is 400 ml. The ratio on ward X of male patient to female patient is 2 to 5. If there are 6 male patients how many female patients are there and B if there are 20 female patients how many male patients are there. Male to female ratio is 2 to 5 meaning to every 2 male patient there are 5 female patients we will solve first A. if there are 6 male patients how many female patients are there we know for 2 male there are 5 female patients so for 4 it will be 10 for 6 it will be 15 and 15 ok so the answer is 15 women now see the next question next part if there are 20 female patient how many male patients are there we know for every 5 female patient there are 2 male patients so for 10 it will be 4 for 15 there will be 6 male patient and for 20 there will be 8 male patient the answer is 8 men question number 4 Medication Q is made up of solution A, B and C. To make 50 mg of medication you need 10 ml of A, 20 ml of B and 5 ml of C. So question number, so the part A. What is the ratio of A to B, B to C and C to A? Let's first find ratio A to B that is 10 to 10. We have cancelled down the ratio by dividing both sides by common factor. In this case, it's 10. Okay. Now we'll go to second that is ratio B to C that is 20 to 5. And we have cancelled down the ratio by dividing both sides by common factor. In this case, 5. And part 3 C to A that is 5 to 10 we have cancelled down the ratio by dividing both sides by a common factor in this case 5 the answer is 1 2 2 now we'll go to next part if you need to produce 100 mg of Q how many ml of A B and C would you need to produce 100 mg of Q we need to double all solution A B C 
that is 20 ml 40 ml and 10 ml of C now I'll go to part C there are 40 ml of A left what is the maximum dose of Q that you can produce and part 2 what quantities of B and C are needed to produce this dose from 100 ml of A we can produce 50 gram 50 mg of medication so from 40 ml of A we can produce 4 into 4 multiplied by 50 mg that is 200 mg and next part 2 we need 4 times of solution B and C that is 80 ml of B and 20 ml of C now I will see percentage percent literally mean per hundred so percentage is concerned with parts of hundred the symbol percent is used to denote percentages the following table shows the fractions form of some common percentages percentages like hundred percent fifty percent twenty percent twenty five percent ten percent five percent one percent this can be written as hundred by hundred mean one fifty by hundred means one by two fraction twenty by one hundred ten by one hundred five by one hundred and one by one hundred simply simplified fraction one 50 by 100 mean 1 by 2 25 by 100 mean 1 by 4 10 by 100 means 1 by 10 and 5 by 100 simplified fraction means 1 by 20 and 1 by 100 means 1 by 100 the following table shows the decimal form of some common percentages 100% means decimal 1 50% means 0.5 25% mean 0.25 10% mean 0.1 and 5% mean 0 0.05 and 1% mean mm -hmm. 0 0.01 the general procedure for converting a percentage say 15% into decimal is take the numeral value of percentage in this case 15 and divide it by 100 so 15% equal to 0 0.15 percent equal to 0 0.17 and 37% means 0 0.1 0 0.37 question number find find 10 percent of 50 10 percent can be written as 0 0.1 so 10 percent of 50 equal to 0 0.1 we have to multiply this number 0 0.1 into 50 that is 5 Question number six. John weighs 120 lbs and is six feet one inch. He is in hospital and cannot live until he has increased his weight by 25 percent. How much must he weigh before he is allowed to live? 25 percent mean we we can divide 25 divided by 100. That will be 0 0.25. So, 25% of 120 equal to, we have to multiply with this number 0 0.25 into 120, that is 30, 30 kilogram, okay. <coughs> His total weight will be the original, that is 120 plus 30, so it will be 150 LBS. Question number 7. A patient weight 150 kg. They have 12 percent weight gain. What is the new weight? So 12 percent means 0 0.12. So 12 percent of 150 is equal to 0 0.12 multiplied by 150 that will be 18. So new weight will be 150 plus 18 equal to 160 lbs question number sorry should be 8 no problem the dose of drug given to a patient is to be reduced by 15 percent if the patient had been originally prescribed 300 mg of drug what is the new dose 
in MJ. Fifteen percent means point one five. So fifteen percent of three hundred is equal to zero point one five multiplied by three hundred that will be forty five. New doses. So new doses will be three hundred minus forty five that is two hundred fifty five MJ. Okay, that brings us to end of first part of this presentation. In next part we will explore some more question and answer. I hope you would have found this information useful. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel.